So how are those training sessions working out for you? Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always enjoy connecting with you midweek. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Hope you're enjoying this bit of sunny weather we have out there. Just know that we love you and we're praying for you. That thought for you again. How are your training sessions going these days? Unless you are completely unplugged from the world around you, you know that this past Sunday there was a little game on TV, a little sporting event. I understand if you missed it completely. We call it the Super Bowl. It's kind of interesting that they don't call it the Mediocre Bowl. Nobody would watch the Mediocre Bowl. They call it the Super Bowl. And boy, this year it was a media extravaganza. It seems like that has been increasing over the years so that the football game itself is actually kind of a small part of what happens on that day. But sure enough, there was a football game going on and to be honest with you I had a real hard time staying connected to it missed the halftime show altogether and didn't even stay awake for the game but there was a football game going on and here's something that stuck in my mind while I was watching part of that game those athletes prepared for a long long time to be on that field for a fairly short time I mean, the game with any, without any commercials, halftime show or something, the game would have been nothing but a few hours, and the athletes involved in that game, regardless of the positions they played, the teams they were on, those athletes, they prepared for years. And most of that training took place behind the scenes. I don't even know what happened with most of their training sessions, but they were lifting weights, they were probably running plays, they were practicing the kinds of things they do on the field. Of course, there's a coaching staff that's also designing out the plays. All of the hours of preparation that went into that one short little game, because a lot of things go on behind the scenes that you and I have never seen, right? But it's important to how well they play in the game. That all stands out in my mind a bit because in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, the Apostle Paul in your Bible actually talks about what it means to train for the games. He says that anyone who wants to play in the game must go through a strict training regimen. Now, that, they, they didn't have football back in their day. They had other types of games, other types of public contests, but the Apostle Paul understood that there was a connection between training for those games and the Christian faith. Because he said, someday in your faith, you might find yourself in a place where you're in the game, where your skill set is being tested, where your preparation is being called into question. There may be a time in your future where we want to see what kind of training you've gone through. We want to know that you are well prepared. It could be questions that come up in your life. It could be a time of trial, suffering, valley, whatever it might be. You'll know how well you've trained when those days come. Well, what does the training look like? Well, the training th needs to take place in advance, and the training may involve things like know, reading your Bible, being part of a church family, spending some time in prayer, being with other Christian people who can sharpen you up a bit, and you sharpen them too. All of those things would be considered training for the big game. And friends, you'll know whether you've trained well or not when the game starts. Sometimes you don't know how well you've trained while you're still doing the training, supposedly, but you'll know how well you've trained when that game starts. And boy, I'll tell you, for the teams that played in the Super Bowl, they were all trained very well. Wouldn't have made that day if they hadn't. So here's my question for you. How's your training going? And are you preparing well for the possibility that at some point in time in the future, you might play in some kind of a, I don't know, faith game? at which your skills will be put on display. And then we'll find out how well your training's gone, friends. How's your training going these days? And is it intentional or just kind of haphazard at times? I hope you're training well these days, friends. Hope you know that we love you. We're thinking about you, praying for you. Hope we can, hope you know we'll do everything we can to help train you up well in the Lord so you're ready for that game day. Hope you have a great week. Take care, God bless, bye-bye.